Hello and welcome to another video from Address Professional Services. My name is Greg Benson Shettle, one of the application engineers here at Address, and today we're going to take a look at Revit and particularly how to orientate our projects and our site views inside of Revit so that we can make sure that everything is orientated the correct way. We're considering here the difference between Project North and True North. So I have open a basic architectural template. First thing I'm going to do from the project browser is look at site. So we change and open up our site plan. We can see in the middle here the origin marker. So we're going to insert a CAD plan that we've got from a surveyor or some other source. I'm going to use a link CAD option and in here I have a site plan drawing. Have some options to consider whether we want to maintain uh, the color scheme that is in there or invert it to black and white. I often do black and white and we can also do auto detect on the size of the units and the choice is yours. I'll leave it on auto detect for now and I'm going to bring in and specify all of the layers and it's going to come in at level zero uh, but we, it is going to come in on the site plan. So let's do open. Now because we specified we have the option to choose which layers we want in, I'm going to untick layer 0 and the dimensions layer and OK. So this has nicely come in at the central point and we need to now tell it that this is actually going to be in true north. So, look over into your Properties palette and you'll find a field called Orientation. It says Project North currently. I want to change that. So click on the word Project North. A drop-down appears and in there we can select True North. I'm going to just apply that. Now I want to confirm that Revit actually understands that this is True North. So if we go to the Manage tab, and under the project locations we can see position and we can tell it what actually is Project North. So it's a simple case of we're going to do rotate to True North. This is just really a, a double check to make sure that we know what we're dealing with. And to do this I'm just going to go horizontal and because this has come in in the correct orientation in the first place my second point of rotation is also still going to be horizontal. So now Revit knows that this is true north. Okay, so let's go over to our level zero plan. Double click. Here we can see it's still in the same orientation but it's not the way that I'd like to actually work on this particular project for this building that's highlighted by the dark line. So again from the manage tab go to position and this time we can rotate project north. Because the way I want to orientate this particular building is going to be a bit of a two-step process. So first we decide by which lines on the drawing we're going to orientate this and we have an option here to align to selected lines. So we take this, th this fourth option and I can pick on a line. You see it's highlighting in blue. It orientates the drawing around so that this line is now horizontal and pointing north. We have an information box that appears just to say and confirm that it has all been rotated. We can OK that. I'm going to do this one more time. Position. Rotate Project North. And this time I'm simply going to rotate it through 90 degrees in an anti-clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Again we get the confirmation. And now this building site is at the way round that I'd like it to be. Again over in the properties box we can see that the orientation does say Project North. Click on it, drop down appears and if I could change this to True North you see it will actually show True North as well. So now we can quite happily flip between our True North and our Project North inside of our Revit. And that's site positioning for you. Hope you found that useful. Bye for now.